Ohenibin Sports 84. This is a review of the fight between Avtandel Ketizi and Tommy Langford. This is a fight in the middleweight division. It was actually a fight for the interim WBO middleweight title. And Ad, Ad, Avtandel Ketizi scored a knockout over Tommy Langford. My first impression of this fight was how short Ketizi was. And for a middleweight, you wouldn't expect a boxer would be that short. Because automatically you'll be fighting as a, at, a, at a disadvantage. Langford was towering over Ketizi. And yet he couldn't use his height and, and probably his reach to his advantage. He was doing the right things for as long as he lasted. But eventually he was caught and knocked out. That was the only thing Ketizi was hoping to go for him in order to win this fight. Because... If this fight had gone on that way to the end, there was no way he would have won the fight. Because he's just too short for a middleweight. He's way too short. He has to rely on his power to knock out his opponent. Because you're not going to win a boxing match in 12 rounds. Because he's fighting as a, at a huge disadvantage. He's just too short. But he showed how bad of a boxer Tommy Langford was. He wasn't he wasn't good enough for an, an unbeaten fighter to be fighting like this and losing to an opponent who is much shorter than you in your own backyard. That's that's really bad. That's really a bad look on Tommy Tommy Langford. I think I think he was a hype a hype machine. By his people back home, he wasn't good enough. If you can't beat a fighter like Adventure Ketisi, then I don't know what you are doing in this division. Who can you beat? A fighter we are going in against, and you're having all these advantages going for you. Moreover, you are fighting, you are fighting your own backyard, and you get knocked out. All you had to do was stay on the outside and pick your shots. Don't get into range because that's what Ketisi will be looking for. Due to his size, he needs to be in close proximity to execute to execute his punches. But this guy is just he just not he couldn't how do you call it? He couldn't uh, concentrate and stick to the game plan. He couldn't lock down and do what he was asked to do by his corner, and he got caught and knocked out. So the hype machine has been derailed. The hype train, I should say has been derailed. As for Katiti, he needs his power to come in every in every single fight in order to win his fight. Because if he doesn't knock his opponent out, I'm not I I don't see how he's gonna win a fight. And at the end of the fight they had Billy Joe Sanders at the arena and there seem to be talks in place to fight Katiza next because Katiza is now the mandatory to Billy Joe Sanders and I'm, I'm not really sure if Billy Joe Sanders can beat Katizi because in his last performance he was terrible and lost to lost to how do you call it an unknown an unknown uh, boxer who was it a fight that he was supposed to be a tuner for Billy Joe Sanders and he ended up losing the fight and the fight was robbed to his advantage. He got a decision, but he didn't deserve it because he, lo he lost the fight. Against an unknown, pro unknown prospect. He was showing, he was saying a lot of, he was showing a lot of, he was saying a lot of big things at the end of the fight. Saying Langford wasn't good enough at the night or he should have been able to beat Ketise. He also said, if he can't beat Ketize, then he's not going to fight anymore. He's going to retire and stuff like that. Making it look like Ketize is no match for him. But I'm not really sure how he's going to handle Ketize. Because Billy Joe Sanders' utterances and his actions in the past leaves a lot to be desired. 
as a boxer. He doesn't strike me as somebody who is a top tier boxer, an A level boxer. So his fight with Ketize will be up for grabs. Anybody can win that fight. I cannot pinpoint the winner because Ketize is way too short for a middleweight. Even though he's strong, he's too short. And a boxer with a solid game plan will easily win against him. You need to be on your toes and on, on your game and be 100% logged in and concentrated on the fight. Because Ketize seems to possess massive punching power. If he connects, that will be, be the end of you. So the fight with Billy Joe Sanders could go either way. You can't really, I can't really side with any 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 of them. But Ketize seems to possess a very uh, likable demeanor because I know the fight he was busting up some dance moves, which was really hilarious to to watch. It was really entertaining. Seems to be a likable character. But it's way too short for a middle weight. It's too short. It's really impressive. For it's really impressive that he's progressed in the middleweight division for this long. Because his size, he's gonna go into every fight with a disadvantage, and he's still making it work for it. making it work for as long as it has been. So he deserves a lot of credit for it. That is all for now. Thank you for your time. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.